All right, well, welcome to the Go Robber video here. Uh, not necessarily a drill this time, but just kind of some tips on, on how to put the pads on. And this video goes out to some of our younger goaltenders, mites, and maybe some first year squirts. Um, so we just want to give some instructions as to uh, how to put the leg pads on, because it can kind of be confusing for, uh, for the first time. So first thing we want to point out here, uh, we'll notice that when you put your uh, leg pads on, you want to make sure that the raised edge is on the outside of the pad. A lot of goaltenders will put the pads on the wrong leg um, for some reason and that raised edge will be on the inside but you notice the raised edge should be on the outer portion of both sides of the pad. The second thing that's a, a common mistake is that uh, typically the goaltenders don't really know what to do with the little strings that are down at the toe of the pad. So we're going to pan over here to the skate and you'll typically find a uh, lace on the toe of the pad. And what do you do with those? Well, once you've got your skates and your breezers on, we're going to take those laces and go ahead and cross them and put them underneath the very front of the skate. There should be a hole that's right above the steel, and you're going to want to cross those laces and pull the pad tight right up to the pad. Okay, so the toe should be snug right up against the, the toe of the, of the boot and the pad there. And then you're going to want to cross them again uh, back toward the heel of the skate. Everything should be done underneath the skate. A lot of goaltenders will take it behind the heel or they'll just come right up from the bottom of the skate. But uh, in any case, we want to make sure that the lace is going to end up on top of the boot. And from there, make sure everything is pulled nice and snug. And then tie it just like you would uh, a normal skate lace. Now once the lace is secure, you can go ahead and, and pull the, the pad up onto the leg. And from there we notice that uh, we should have access to all of the straps on the back of the leg. What this uh, lace does on the, on the skate is it's going to keep the pad from twisting left and right. Um, so go ahead and, and, and secure those straps on the goalie pad on the back. Um, one kind of common uh, rule, I guess, that we would say is that from the bottom of the pad here, we should start pretty tight. So you want to take those straps and tighten them pretty snug on the bottom. And as you come up through here, you can see our goaltender is uh, not making those straps all that tight. They're actually pretty loose, almost to the point where they're just hanging, uh, you know, pretty loosely down on the back of the leg. So as our goaltender uh, continues to move down the pad, he is going to be uh, tightening those straps tighter and tighter as, as we go down to the point where once you get down to the very bottom of the pad, um, the straps are going to be really quite tight. You want to pull them almost as tight as you can. Okay, now these straps can be made differently with different uh, brands of goalie pads. Um, some of them will have the metal uh, buckles here and most of them will have, as we can see, a leather strap. Sometimes it's nylon, but uh, most of the time we've got these metal straps and you know each, each pad is different. Some of them come with the uh, plastic buckles, but uh, you can just kind of get used to the, the customization of, of your own pad. Okay, another point that we just want to want to make here is a lot of goaltenders uh, like to use these knee guards or knee protection, and you do want to make sure that our goaltender has that. Um, if the knee is exposed once you go down in the butterfly, you want to make sure to purchase these either with the goalie uh, pads or separately uh, as well. So once the pad is on, uh, go ahead and, and tighten those bottom ones there, Jack. And again, those bottom straps should be pretty tight. Once that pad is on, we'll have our goaltender stand up, and we can see that the pad shouldn't be uh, restricting in its movement, but not too loose to where the pad is, is just flopping around there as well. So we'll have our goaltender stand up uh, once that bottom strap is, is tight. And we notice that we should be able to take the pad and move it around a little bit so that it would rotate in our butterfly, but on the bottom it's nice and secure. And uh, that's, that's kind of the basic guidelines for putting on your goalie pad. So. Good luck.